Hey guys, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Friday, October 9th. Hope you guys are doing well. You had a good week. Um, everything's good here. I had a very nice birthday last Friday. Thank you so much to everybody who wished me a happy birthday. And my daughter's was the next day. So yeah, we had a very, uh, very festive weekend. So that was fun. Actually, I got a couple of crafty things for my birthday that I will show you at the end. Um, I do have a bunch of things this week. I got an order in from A Cherry on Top. Um, I also got an order in from Creative Mojo Studio. And I have a few things from Walmart as well and um, another project share. So let us jump in and get started. So the reason I ordered from A Cherry on Top this time was for this collection, which is Doodlebug's latest called Pumpkin Spice. And I was looking at this before it was officially released and, oh, I just, I could not wait because just, all right, I opened, this was um part of my order and I just took it out of the package just to get a head start. But just look at these cute little, like this coffee, I know that they've used that icon before, but now it's done in like a fall themed. So I kind of went crazy and got a bunch of stuff from this collection. So let's, let me show you. So, oops, dropped something. So on the um, title page, cover page, of course, you can, you know, fussy cut that stuff out. And so, okay, let me just say, this is the 12 by 12 paperback pack. There are 12 double-sided cardstock sheets and one this and that sticker sheet. Okay, so this is the first one. I don't know if you guys have seen this collection yet. I, was, I see a people, or ugh, a people. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Uh, a few people have gotten this collection already, so um, just bear with me if, you, if you've seen it, but you gotta, you gotta see, it's just so cute. Look at the little icons. There's pie and cupcakes and macarons and coffee and cinnamon buns and just all pumpkin spicy. So love it. Nice thick cardstock. The back is that pretty plaid. And then this one has plaid, a different plaid. And then this one is the strips. And this one's called Autumn Weave. The other one was I think just pumpkin spice, actually. Okay, so just look at all the different strips that are here. I love using these, like, just on the bottom of a card or, you know, a mini album. Just so easy to cut apart and just to add a little detail to your project. Look at those little guys too cute. And the back is this plaid, which we saw already. Um, okay, and so and then we have these flowers, nice autumn colors, very boodle buggish. And this is the back of that one. Cute little owls with flowers. And this one's called Sunflower Fields. And the next one are these cute polka dots, but they have like a little bit of like a kind of a plaid in them. Texture. Harvest berries it's called. Oops, sorry. And this one has cut aparts which are great for journaling. Traveler's notebooks. Can't really see the whole thing can you? Sorry. Maybe I should raise this up a little. Let's see. Nope. Wrong way. Okay. So there we go. You can see the whole thing. Super cute. All right, and then this one we have the pumpkin pie slices. Jeez, so cute, right? And then the back is stripe, and this one is called cutie pie. These pie slices remind me of, what's that sticker? Yeah, I got a sticker book from Joann's this year that has little stickers that look like that. Okay, and the next page are these cute little forest friends. I mean, look at those guys. Forest of Friends. Oh, that was close. And there's a bear, and I think that's a moose, right? This guy? Raccoon, fox, owl, hedgehog, mushrooms, birds. So sweet. I just love the little bit. bug. And this is the back. Just, oh, I love when they do this. Just like they have all the icons, but just in a monochrome kind of pattern. There's a scarecrow. Is there a scarecrow on this one? Nope. Oh, I knocked over my little trees. Okay. And the next page is this plaid, and this one's called Tea Towel. Oh, that's pretty. Just like, looks like a wheat or something. 
some sort of green. Nice to have a kind of a neutral one, you know. Oh, and look at the pumpkins. It's so adorable. Pumpkin chocolate chip, it's called. Like, how can you not be happy looking at a doodle bug collection, right? And that pretty green background. It's like an apple green. And then this one is leaves, all different textured pattern leaves, pretty bright fall colors. Around here, I'm like, I'm. I've told you before, I'm in upstate New York, and the colors of the trees are gorgeous this year. That is one good thing about this year is, I don't know, something had to do with like a dry summer or dry fall, but the colors are vibrant and gorgeous. Sometimes we have just kind of blah colors, but this year they've been incredible. And this is the other side, it's cut apart, or you could use this as one big page. Super cute. Wake me up before you cocoa. Oh my God. So very sweet, cutie pie. Autumn skies and pumpkin pies. Good little mouse driving a tractor. This one's called Unbeliefable. All right, and then the next one are these cute donuts with the cute little smiley face called Dozens of Donuts. And polka dots on the back. And then in the same color of those polka dots, we have some cute leaves. These are tinier called Happy Fall. And the back is orange monochrome. And then, oh my gosh, how adorable. Cup o Joe. There's coffee. Two kinds of coffee. Mmm. Makes you want to have coffee and donuts after looking at this collection. And that's a pretty plaid. All right, so that's all the papers. And here are the stickers, the this and that stickers. They have, I love that they always have these nice borders. They're like die cut borders. And it's pumpkin time. Happy fall, y'all. And they have, they always have like these little um, sentiments that are great for embellishments, tags, that sort of thing. I'm probably not going to be making too many more fall projects this year, but you know, this will not go bad before next year, that's for sure. But I'll make some more, definitely. All right, so that was the 12 by 12 paper pack in that collection, but I did not stop there in getting things. I also got the stickers. These are the Icons card stickers, and I just love them. Love, love, love. Have all the same pictures that were in the paper. Totally adorable. So I grabbed those, and then I got a bunch of the shape sprinkles. I got this set with all the different coffee drinks. This one is called, it just says pumpkin spice, so I'll have to look at the other ones. But uh, look, little, even little coffee beans. And there's, I think that's a tea bag, right? Yeah. I like this one with the cinnamon in it. That looks like, I don't know, hot chocolate, I guess. So there's that. And these are just stickers, like, um, you know, puffy stick. Well, they're not really puffy, they're more like, I don't think, just like epoxy stickers or something. And then this one is called Bake Me Happy. And this one has all the baked goods from the collection and a bunch of hearts in there. Adorable. And I got another one. This one is called Happy Fall. And these are all the different leaves and acorns. And I guess that's the hedgehog, right? And look, just like a little, like, how cute would that little smiley face be in the center of a flower, right? So sweet. So I got those shape sprinkles, and then I got some doodle pops, too. I got this one called pumpkin pie, just because I love that little icon. So there's the two slices and the whole pie. And this one is called pumpkin pie. I think I said that already. And the next one, I got this one which is the hot chocolate with the hearts. And this one's called pumpkin spice. And the last one is this one. And this one is called fall treats. And you've got the little cupcake with, look, it's got even one of those like candy corn pumpkins on top. 
And there's like a chocolate chip cookie, a cinnamon bun, and a fall donut. So cute. So I think that is it from that collection for now anyway. I just love it. Love all that stuff. I did get one more thing from A Cherry on Top, a different collection. Well, uh, a collection kit. And this one is by Cartabella, and it's called Winter Market. Sorry for that glare there. Um, I try to get all the market ones, you know, like farmhouse market, their summer market, well, you know, everything. So, uh, yeah, I saw this was a new one, so I figured I'd pick it up. Um, let me just take it out of the package and we could take a look. I've said before, I love getting these collection kits because you get a good assortment of paper and some stickers and it doesn't take up that much space if you just want to like, you know, get some of a collection, but not necessarily the whole thing. And it's pretty economical too. Okay, so this one is Winter Market and that is the cover sheet. No save. You know that you should save these and you can fussy cut or just use, yeah, use those as part of little embellishments. So that's the cover, and let's go through the pages. This one, oh, look how pretty. Like you, I'm sure you know, Cartabella paper is nice and thick and textured. So pretty, right? It's like, it looks like a, yeah, like pine with pine cones and some other leaves. Nice blues and blacks and that, and grays and greens. This one is called Winter Floral. That's the back. Pretty snowflakes. Nice powder blue color. And then the next one are these cutter parts. And I just love the illustrations, right? They're just kind of like soft and cozy. So, oh, look how pretty that is, sledding party. I really like the illustrations on this. Sending you warm wishes and love. Different cut apart sentiments. I love just attaching those to tags. Put it down so you can see. Hot cocoa, 25 cents. Thank you, snow much. I think these would be great to make like thank you cards after Christmas or Hanukkah or any other winter holiday. And that's the back. Looks like kind of like a snowstorm. And this one is called three by four journaling cards. The next page are these pretty snowflakes, different like gray, dark grays, blacks, blues, greens on like a creamy white background. And the other side is, it's kind of uh, like a very subtle pattern. Yeah, just very subtle. It's got like a little house on it and some leaves, branches. Kind of looks like a snowman. I'm not sure if that is, but this one's called Let It Snow. Speaking of snow, look at these snowmen. Yeah, totally adorable. I mean, come on. It's a black background, and I love the color. They added some pink in there. Gotta love that. Beautiful. And the other side is this pretty baby blue color with like grayish snowflakes. And this one's called Snowman. And we have some more cut aparts here cold hands, warm heart. Walking in a winter wonderland, stay cozy, tis the skeezin. Uh-huh. Winter wonderland, let's stay, oh, look at this one. Let's stay in with that tiny little house in the forest. Oh, totally cute. We have, I love winter, warm winter wishes with the cute little Nordic patterns on the mugs. Keep calm and wait for snow. Super cute. And the back are the, this is like a smaller scale of those branches with pine cones. And this one is four by four journaling cards. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other side, we have the skiers. So pretty. Aren't they cute? And the back are all these cute little mountain tops. And this is like a sagey green color. And this one's called skiers. And some more cut aparts. These are like the very different or the varied sizes, not very different sizes. Um, <laughs> there's snow place like home. Let's build a snowman. Let's stay in. I love winter for you. Thanks. The cute little fox. Yeah, it's a fox on ice skates. Winter is here. Hello, winter. 
This would be great to use like in January, you know, when you want to do some crafting, but it's not like spring crafting time yet. And then the back is this beautiful like slate blue background with white snowflakes. And this is four by six journal cards. And I guess has a few of those. And the next page is this nice forest scene with snow. And the back is black, like a soft black, with some white snowflakes. Looks like a gentle snow falling in the night sky. And then, oh, that one is called I Love Winter. And then we have, oh, look at all these tags. There's a lot of tags here. Teeny tiny. You could put like, like two of the same shape ones together. Yeah, that's a good idea, right? Actually, I don't know if you would do that because the background is cute too, but that's cute. I love cozy. We make a perfect pair. Baby, it's cold outside. They're all really, really cute. So how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 54 tags. Wow. And this is the back, which is really cute too. Hats and mittens and socks. And this one's called tags for obvious reasons. The next page is this plaid. This is kind of like a larger scale. That's okay. Good background, I guess. Oh, I like this side better. It's like a soft blue and a medium or a light, light blue snowflake on top of that. <clears throat> it's called Frosty Plaid. Sorry, I just had um, like a peanut chocolate bar. I think I got a peanut stuck in my throat. Um, okay, here we have some cute forest friends ice skating and some penguins and snow there those cute snowmen black backgrounds and there's a stripe kind of looks like that plaid this one's called stay cozy and then we have another pretty blue this one's a little darker snowflakes and some hot chocolate mugs and spoons and straws and marshmallows Super cute. This one's called Swirly Snowflakes. I love the strips on the bottom. I like to save those too. And where it says Winter Market, like I'm sure I'll cut that out and put that as an embellishment somewhere. I always do that. All right, and this is the sticker sheet that it comes with. And it comes with like a long border. It comes with little sentiments, bigger sentiments. It's hot chocolate weather, yeah. Snow days are the best days super cute. Love them all. Okay, so that is it for Winter Market, and that is it for my a Cherry on Top haul. So who knows when I'll order from them again, probably very soon. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water. Okay, I'm back. Got some water, and I think I'm good to go. All right, so the next thing I got was this order from a company that's new to me. It's called Creative Mojo Studio. And I heard from them from Tony and Craft Bird. She said that um, um, it's, I think she said it was a new shop. And so I headed over to the website and uh, there were such cute things there. Like everything I would like, like, uh, you know, aqua and pink and yellow and cool accessories and things that you need for your crafting. So I ordered a few things and right after I got this, I went on the website and ordered some more just because I was so impressed. So I just got a few things in my first order and I wanted to show you how cute the packing bag was. Like, look at this color. Isn't that adorable? I just, I don't know. I had to show you guys before I threw it out. <laughs> so this is a little box it comes in and I did open it already, but it comes package so pretty with the little sticker on it that says thank you for supporting my small business and it came with an invoice sheet that has prices on it which is always nice so look at this with shred pretty purple tissue paper and okay so this is the first thing I got these cute little clay bows and they're white and pink and yellow and it says on the back how much it costs isn't that awesome because I'm always forgetting how much things cost. It makes it so easy to show you guys. So $2.99 for this pack of... There's a lot of bows in here, too. I thought these would be great to add to shakers. So I got those. And then I got these 
sequins and I've never seen ones like this before. They're pink iridescent like daisies and I think there were different colors but I just got the pink. $2.99 for 10 grams. Right? Aren't those nice? And look at this packaging. It's like a, a pretty pink envelope that is reusable. So I'm definitely saving that. And this one came with a black one. And then look at these clips. They are, um, here, I'm going to take them out. It, it came with two pink and two aqua. And they're little keychain clips. Is that what they're called? They are called, yeah, pink and mint alloy clips. And it was $3.99 for four of them, which I don't think is bad at all because, I mean, I've never seen anything like this before. I just think they're beautiful. They'll be perfect for tassels, good for like snow and cocoa projects. And these colors are just made for me. So I had to get those. And they're nice heavy metal too. And then the next thing I got, oh yeah, I forgot. These um, ball chains, and look, the same colors. Perfect for like key rings. What, have you seen in these colors before? Like, aren't they amazing? Pink and aqua. And it looks like one, two, how many are in here? Well, I'm not gonna count them all. But uh, there's a bunch of them, and it was 99 cents for this pack of them. I should just count them. I was getting confused. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so four of each for 99 cents total. I mean, that is amazing. And she shipped really quick and shipping charges were extremely reasonable. So um, I saw Maria at Pink Crafty World. She just did a haul and she got the uh, sequin sampler box that was beautiful. So I hopped on that. That was the main thing I ordered for my next order. So I'll probably have that next week to show you guys. I cannot wait. I can't wait. So yeah, and it's always good to smart, support small business, you know, guys support, support our girls. All right, so got that, and I got a couple things from Walmart. This is, I think this is crafty. I'm not sure. The the set of mini ornaments, and they're little tobacco baskets, and I thought they'd be cute for, like, a shadow box or something. I don't know, but I thought they were adorable. $2 for three. Well, I'll figure something out for that. And the only thing else I got there is a bottle of Glitter Refic, and I really like this color. It's like a, I think it's called, yeah, Pink Neon. So it's got like, you know, it's it's not really neon. I don't see neon. It's more like a bubblegum pink maybe or pastel -y. I mean, once you like, you know, paint it on something, it'll spread out so it won't be like bright pink, I don't think. But I really like that one. So I got that. And next, I think that's it for like things I bought this week. Um... Like I said, it was my birthday, so my daughter gave me this beautiful paper pad that she found at Michael's. It's called Secret Gardenia, and I guess it's in the regular scrapbooking section, and it comes with a 36 pages, no, 72 sheets, 36 with treatments, and it's four and a half by seven, which is a, a kind of a cool size, good for a card fronts, because Usually the card size I use, I make is a A2, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So, you know, just cut this down a little bit. You have a card front. So I'll just quickly show you, but it's very soft, like mints and pinks and peaches. And it's got pretty, it's kind of like, not just gold. It's more like a rose gold, the foiling. So, oh, this one's so pretty. She knows me and what colors I'd like. Look at that pretty soft floral. Oh, this is so pretty, this bird. That would be a perfect, even like for the inside of a card, you know? And the good thing about being a card maker, you can, you know, make a card to fill up the whole space. You don't have to make it a standard size. Make it any size you want. Look at that, that's pretty. So I don't know how long this one has been out for. I haven't seen it before. Oh, I love this one with all that foiling. But I think it's beautiful. Um, is there a year on here? Mm -hmm. No. 
But yeah, I thought that was so sweet of her. She gave me like a basket of things that she knows I like. And this was in there. So thanks, honey. And I also got, I had asked for this. And this is awesome. This is, my husband got me this, um, a photo printer. And it's Bluetooth and it prints pictures like right from your phone. And it prints them in a really good quality on in a like a three by three size. And the software, well, it's an app that uh, you just download for free. And you can like edit right in the app. You can add frames, um, you know, scale, that sort of thing. And it's really neat to watch print. It You use um, like special paper. It's like a cartridge that you install in here. And uh, it prints in like the, uh, it'll print like the cyan first and then the magenta and so on. Um, so I thought it was really cool. And I wanted this because I have a bunch of mini albums and I really need to have good quality photos to put in there. And I don't want to have to like send them off somewhere to get them printed out. And like if you want to get them printed three by three, like it costs more than just the regular four by sixes. So it's kind of a hassle. And this way, it's just economical, it's quick, and they come out really good. I, I tested one picture and it was really, it was fun. So I can't wait to get started and fill up some of these mini albums that I have. So this is good. I'll leave a link to this down below if you were interested in, uh, in it. I found it on Amazon. That's where my husband got it for me. So, oh, and I wanted to show you, I finished the October block of my gingerbread quilts. If you've been following along, there's a block a month for six months. So, um, this is, we're halfway done now. This is the third one and it's big, so I'll just lay it out. Um, it comes with, you can just like download the pattern for free or you can buy the kit every month, which comes with the fabric and the buttons and pattern the uh, printed pattern so that's what i do and uh, they're just beautiful wools and so fun to work with and i just love like the little details like look at those little buttons they're little um christmas bulbs aren't they cute there's a little gingerbread on the door and yeah wreaths in the windows it's really fun to do and it's so nice to just you know sit on the couch and do a little hand sewing but I'm glad I got this done early this week because I have a quilt to make for Christmas that I really need to get started on. And of course, some paper crafting stuff and some design team projects. So um, yeah, got this, out. I, don't, I hate to say out of the way because I do like doing it, but I, there are other things I need to do too. So glad it's done. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today for this haul and project share. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And um, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and thanks for subscribing and I'd love for you to subscribe if you if you aren't a subscriber. Um, I am coming up soon on 5,000 followers on Instagram and if you're not following me there, hop on over and follow me because I'm going to have a really nice giveaway once I get to 5,000 there. So with that, I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend and yeah, love you guys. Bye.